Peter Obi reacts as his supporters rally in McCurdy, Auchi, Potakot and Afiko. The presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi, has expressed gratitude as his supporters take to the streets to rally for him. According to reports, photos and videos making rounds on social media, the rallies were held in Afiko, Potakot, Auchi, Nedo State and Makodi, the capital of Benue State. Photos of, the, of from these rallies have sparked mixed reactions as they made rounds on social media. Peter Obi, who's currently outside the country, made a post on his Facebook page to show gratitude to his supporters and he also said that their labours will not be in vain. He says, constitutional rights to peaceful assembly are, are protected and must be respected by all. Our labour will not be in vain. I appreciate you all. And it's funny because, you know, yes, he's outside the country, but again, still engaging. Of course, he's a, he's a presidential candidate. He's really got to do all the right things now to show himself, really. But we're seeing these signs. And the same way he's showing how active he's going to be is the same way Tinubu is showing you how inactive he's going to be. These signs are already seen. We see these signs before we vote. So we, we can't be surprised for what we are voting for. So if important meetings, important events to show your candidacy and competence, you don't go, you send your vice to represent you and you have another candidate that, yes, has to travel and has obligations outside the country, but still can make it for events like that and travel abroad and still, again, be as engaged. That says a lot. It really does say a lot. And so for that, you know, we are seeing the signs that he, this individual is going to be as active as he can when he is elected. It's as simple as that. And of course, I think, you know, for a lot of, for a lot of um, Peter B supporters and just, you know, anyone who is engaged in this political, you know, activity that's going on. The fact is, for a lot of individuals, the worry is that in the north, he wouldn't be as accepted or, you know, with the middle belt going up to the north area and northerners wouldn't accept him as much. And, you know, if you're going to have rallies that, that are for Peter B and you have people coming out and mass to support him it, it it is a very it's pretty much a very good sign and you know to hear the likes of kwakwanso that you know saying he rejected the alliance with labor party because he felt that the north wouldn't want a a southern or the or the, the north would prefer that power remains in the north and so really that was the rejection i mean you you'd really think that was so the northerners are really bent on keeping it with them aren't they but then obviously this just gives context to say that you know what it is fine he can build the relevant you know relevant i guess popularity or clout needed politically yeah to get to where he wants to get to and really it's the youth that are going to change a lot of things really and i think that that's a very big thing i think when if we start seeing if we start to see, let's say, hmm, if we start to see, let's say, okay, in Castina, Kano, Kaduna, you know, if we if we really see, uh, what do you call it, rallies in those areas, okay, fine, we really can start to say, okay, this is this is really making sense because, to be honest, I mean, I think that until he he can also gain a relevant amount of rele um popularity in the north he would really need that to really want to you know, win these elections because for the south yes it's pretty much split but he can, you can we can be confident that he's as relevant but in the north he needs to still build that so you know obviously benue is it's like north central but when we're, when we're talking the north we're really you know thinking of um northwest north northeast you know that is sort of what that is literally what we're looking for. Well, this individual says, funny because I witnessed the rally here in Potako. The traffic held me for over two hours. I marveled at the turnout. It took me almost an hour to get to a junction to another junction. And he said the movement is real. And it's not just a social media thing. And I think, obviously, there. I mean, it's literally September already. When 
it is actually time for campaigns then we will see that okay fine no one is playing because it's not just online you're saying i support this i support that okay fine come out and actually if you're going to hold the banner for apc pdp or labor party or wear you know or wear any any outfit that would identify you with the party then would actually know where people stand and you know what people are willing to do for their party and that is where we can decide okay great this is what we're doing we can say okay fine this is not just social media thing the movement is real so that's it but it's funny because you also have opposing opinions and people going back and forth this individual states that the smaller masquerades can have the stage for now and so it's like okay fine yes you know campaigns haven't started but don't also underestimate you know these times as well because you 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 can't underestimate these times no way it, it, it just just doesn't work nigerians were lost and hidden but now they will be found by obi come 2023 now one of the things i love about peter b is that he is full of gratitude and you know his response is quick to issues in obedience we are useful well you know where the stands come from and i think that's the thing i think humility is very key and that's what really you know would set a lot of individuals apart um and i think he's really setting him apart he's he appears to be humble and i feel like more than just appearance whatever is inside will come out anyway so really that would show who he attracts and now for example if you look at tinubu and atiku who have been desperate and really entitled you know even his in his approach and how he relates with them because personally I, I know that okay fine it's not a thing where okay fine he knows i'm better than them or anything it's not that but still he he can still understand that they are my competitors and that the humility would obviously allow for respect when it is not there that's when you have the likes of apc and pdp just saying statements throwing harmful words at each other i really don't even care because really in those parties when it comes to merit and the people it is nowhere to be found i mean not just the people but the priority of the people and the people's needs it's nowhere to be found and so if you have a party where people are paying money or they have to have an allegiance to a godfather to put them where they want to be you know it, it does it, it speaks a lot and in that way, you can also sense that, you know what, of course they've been entitled if they feel that this person, you know, has... Because really, anything that is for the people, if you are for the people, you would go with it because that's what the people want. And you believe that's what's good for them. So really, the difference obviously is clear with humility um, of Peter B and the rest of the field. And that is what will make him, you know, different and hopefully draw him the votes. Put what you think in the comment section below and don't forget to like and subscribe.